Welcome to episode 2 of the Lake Barnhill Climb, entitled, And Now for Something Completely Different. After all, we can't drive off-road supercars in every episode, and I don't want to run out of all the good vehicles you can have too early in the series. Not that the subject of this episode is not an excellent vehicle, and not that it isn't great fun to drive, it's just... Well, let me put it this way. In the world of Cyberpunk 2077, many things which have happened in our world have not happened. The Soviet Union still exists, and it is still powerful. It still makes heavy industrial products, and its heavy industrial products still have a certain functional, ruthless style, a Soviet style. From the Soviet Union comes this behavior, the Kaukaz Bratsk. It is the ubiquitous heavy truck in the game, and it is seen in the game most commonly in this three-axle form, but occasionally four-axle and even six-axle variants are also seen. The driving position is combined. The engine note is a little scratchy, but quite credible for a vehicle in this way. The acceleration is certainly not so special, but watch the indicated speed in the bottom left of the screen. It's no slack. Opportunities to film this beauty don't come up. And this video was made while I was still developing the Lake Farm Hill Climbing concept, which is why so much of the game's user interface is still on screen, and also why the radio. By happy coincidence, the radio station you're listening to is literally called Samistat Radio. But back to the Kaukaz. As you can see, it's astonishingly nimble winding through the hairpins without difficulty. Its road holding is also astonishingly good compared to other vehicles in the game. I've literally never managed to make a good one in this game. As this run is a little slow, I'll take the opportunity to comment on just how beautifully rendered the scenery is. That really is a considerable part of the pleasure in this game. As we reach the top of the top, the difficult turn at the top is made, well, not perfectly, without any great problem. The big truck just rumbles steadily, no slow, on the straight towards the But when we get to open desert, then we see the Kaukaz It takes this rough terrain in its stride. Its ride is astonishingly smooth, even at an indicated 100 miles an hour. Sadly, you can't go. There aren't any for sale. There aren't any that you can get as rewards in the rest. But common, these are products of the workers' paradise, subverted to create profits for the capitalist class. Surely it is your revolutionary duty to liberate one. So my rating, this one is a steal. <laughs>